In today's video, I'm going to give you the top five reasons why you are not working out yet. What's up guys? Frank Daniels here. Today I'm talking about things that may actually prevent you from starting a training routine. Before I get into that, I've got a free training report. It's called my nine killer core tips. If you're interested in getting the exercise and nutrition principles necessary to develop a rock solid midsection, download that instantly by clicking this link right here. Mobile device users head down below. First link in the description. Now, a lot of guys out there watching this video uh, might be current trainees and train often and really get the best results they're looking for. Kudos to you. However, believe it or not, there's a lot of guys out there who are thinking about training but somehow just not getting done or are inconsistent at best. So we wanna talk about what are the things that could be standing in your way so we can release the brakes and get this ball rolling. So here are the top five things preventing you from getting your workout on. Number one, not enough pain. Yes, believe it or not, pain can be a huge motivator. And unfortunately, what happens uh, in this instance is sometimes you gotta actually hit rock bottom and maybe more than once hit rock bottom and be completely just kind of upset and unfortunately disgusted with yourself in order to be able to have the motivation to make the change and move forward. Two motivations, either moving towards something that makes you feel good or moving away from something that makes you feel pain. Now we gotta be very careful with these particular types of motivations. You can use both, but if it takes so much pain and you fall so far off the deep end, um, it may just be too late and it may become too difficult of an uphill battle for you to be able to climb if you get too far this way. So we wanna start moving this way as quickly as possible. Number two, fear. Fear of failure. That's right, most of the time that dude stays stuck in place is because of the conversation in their head. And that conversation is saying, I'm gonna fail and I'm gonna suck at this shit. And you just might be right. And what you should understand is that failure is a stepping stone on the way to success. And salespeople are the best at this because they understand, let's say a salesperson has to do cold calls. They understand that they may have to make nine calls to get a yes and get nine no's on the way to that one yes on that 10th call. Right? So failure is a stepping stone on the way to success. So it's not something you should shy away from. As a matter of fact, you should be inviting it. Bring it on. Number three, you're lazy. Ain't no fucking fix for that. Nah, I'm just playing. Truth is, if you're gonna get fit and healthy, you're gonna have to get up and move your ass and more than likely do some shit that's uncomfortable and you may not like. Go figure. Quite simply, it's a road of blood, sweat, and tears. It's gonna be muscle soreness, days where you don't feel like doing it, times where your joints are a little bit creaky, and times where you're gonna to have to push yourself past your comfort zone. It just is what it is. Anyone who tells you different would be lying to you, and I can't do that. This ain't a country club mentality type of thing. So if you expect to sit on your couch and get the job done, it just ain't gonna happen. However, if you want a new body and a new life, get your ass up, out from in front of the Xbox or the Sports Center, and start making it happen. Number four, motivation. You don't know why you want it. Yep, just the motivation thing. People who accomplish stuff, they understand exactly why they want to accomplish those things. They know exactly what the cost of not doing it is, and they know exactly what the benefit of doing it is. I'll just give you some examples in the course of my experience. Confidence, better health, longevity, better hormone production, joint health, feeling good when you wake up and jump out of bed, being able to run around and do things, make more money. Maybe you have kids, you wanna take care of your family, you wanna be around for a long time to be able to run around with them and watch them grow. Did I mention confidence? More sex, better sex. Who you do it with? Up to you, doesn't matter. I'm just saying, life's gonna be better. Now understand, I just gave you benefits. Those aren't the real reasons why you want those benefits. So when you're setting your goals, when it comes to training and improving your body and your health, you wanna make sure you write down the real deep down reasons why that these things are important to you. And all that really matters is that they matter to you. And they spark and light a fire under your ass so you can go at it every single day. And number five, priorities. So I've been doing this a long time and often what you recognize is that dudes got their priorities fucked up. So I'll just give it to you straight. If you're gonna improve your health and fitness, it's gotta become number one priority. So there's gonna be some stuff that 
simply can't take priority over health and fitness, right? Like specifically your work and if you have kids, that's pretty important. Got to pay attention to that. So obviously just don't, you know, stop showing up to work or, you know, not paying attention to your kids, especially when they're like running around in like the street and shit. But chances are you've been doing that so long that you've created routines and habits that you don't necessarily have to think about too much. Um, because they are routine. You're pretty good at them and you can probably put them on cruise control for a little bit while you kind of pull health and fitness and, and put it up top and put it at the forefront. So when you wake up in the morning, uh, your training and whatever nutrition plan that you have put in place or whatever routines and habits that you need in place to be able to improve the stuff, it's got to be the first thing that you think about. It's got to be the first thing that you schedule and literally just kind of make an appointment with yourself and it's non-negotiable. So here's the reality. 99% of fitness has nothing to do with the X's and O's of exercise and nutrition, yet has everything to do with your mindset. What's up here in the ticker, okay? And the things that might be preventing you, I've given you five today, and now we know how to clear that stuff out of there, so hopefully we can get you rolling in the direction of your health and fitness goals. If you want more tips, um, the exercise and nutrition stuff necessary to develop a rock solid core, Everyone's talking about it. Everybody wants it. This is how you're going to do it. You can download my nine killer core tips by clicking this button right here. Mobile device users, you can head down below. Click the first link in the description. As always, if you guys really enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to head down below. Like, leave a comment, tell me exactly what you want to see, and of course, subscribe to this channel so you can get these videos sent directly to you. Guys, Enjoy and I hope this helps out. My nine killer core tips. Is it called, is it, is it called that? Nine killer core sculpting. Why is my neck red like that? What the, what the? Call my nine core sculpting tips. It's not called, it's called something else. Nine killer core, nine killer core tip. Nine core sculpting. Um, some things that make you feel good, some things that might you, make, might fucking spark some shit. More sex. Thank <laughs> you.